So in this video, we're going to look at how to get the sheet number into the ISO from line number to line number. So this video here actually comes from a subscriber that asked a question and that is how do you get the sheet number when you go from one line number to another line number and uh, Isogen or in CADWorks um, we showed you how to do uh, the stop signs to break apart your ISOs uh, but Isogen and really any other software out there um, when it comes to generating ISOs from uh, the software uh, or the 3D model, it doesn't allow you to, um, you know, identify what sheet number that is. And so there is a trick that you can do uh, to get that line number. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to, of course, first got to load up your model. Um, and we're going to work on this uh, control station right here. And this control station number is uh, 1480. Okay, and it's got a connection up here to another line number, 1481. And so we're going to go to our... Uh, you know, line view here and expand that out. And we're going to isolate just 1480 and 1481. So we're going to go isolate. Okay. And now we got rid of all the steel and all the other piping and all the equipment. And, and we're just looking at uh, the line that we want to. <clears throat> so we've got this control station. It comes out from over here. We've got a check valve, so we know that's the flow uh, from this pump, if we actually had the pump turned on. And so we're going to change this name here. We're going to say this is 1480-150CS. Uh, and we're going to say this is sheet 01. Okay. And then we're going to set this line number. And so now we're at 1480. And we're going to say we're going to select all the pieces to 1480. Okay, so we pick our pieces. Pick the the flange and the bolts there and the gasket. We're going to hit OK and we're going to say yes to all. Okay, so we stopped it here and we're going to name this CH01. No, this is O2, right? And we're going to say that's O2 and we're going to set it to our current line number and we're going to pick all the fittings that is associated with that line number. Now you got to make sure you pick all the items um, that is associated with that line number. I'm going to go here. Okay. And this one's 1481. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say sheet 01. Okay, we've set it. So we're at 1481 sheet 1. We're going to come over here, grab all that, and we're going to hit yes to all. Okay, so we're going to go to our uh, line view. We're going to hit a refresh. And you can see that we have uh, now four line numbers. We have 1480, we have 1481, we got 1481 sheet 1, or 1480 sheet 1, 1480 sheet 2, and 1480 sheet uh, 1. 
So that's one of the problems with this method. You've got to make sure that you grab everything and everything is associated with that particular line number. So we're going to um, just isolate that one right there and find out where it is. We got a bolt. And so that is probably 1482. Um, now you've also got to make sure that it matches identically. I mean, even to the capital letter. So if we turn off our shift here, uh, or our caps lock, we're going to do sheet O2. Okay, so lowercase sheet O2. We hit OK. Come over to spec uh, line view again. We're going to isolate. Uh, you'll see that now we have 1480 sheet 2 and 1480 lower case sheet two and so you got to make sure that those match identically uh, so we're going to just double click on that and turn our caps lock back on and go sheet go over here and we're going to go so now we have 1480 sheet one sheet tube and there's no other blank 1480 so we're going to go, uh, we still have 1481. We're going to isolate it, find out where it is. We got a bolt and gasket. Okay. So um, our current line number is steel 1481 sheet one. We're going to grab those <clears throat> and hit all A for all. Come over here, refresh. Now we only have the three that we want to deal with. Uh, we're going to turn all of it back on. Okay. And we're going to run an ISO. So uh, IGB for our isogen batch. And we're going to go to uh, 1480 sheet one. And we're going to hit OK. Now it's going to generate the ISO. I haven't uh, updated my isogen style for this particular purpose. Uh, because I don't use it. Uh, I just use the stop signs and that it's saying it's going to that sheet. I mean, going to that line number. I don't care what sheet number it's going to as long as it's showing it's going to that line number. Um, I know that kind of goes against uh, some pr design practices, um, but it's the way that I like to deal with things and unless there's a particular reason uh, from a client that wants to do it that way uh, we just don't do that way so we're gonna hit um, no okay and I'll show you the reason why because I have a script that's running in the back background uh, that changes the um, I uh, dot I O one to sheet 01 and so that's the reason here you see sheet 01 dash sheet 01 um, because we said this line number is now sheet o, you know this line number plus sheet 01 and it's going to say sheet 01 um, you would have to change that script in the background not to do that or don't load it up um, and you also have to make sure that it doesn't add that uh, dot io at the end of your line um, on the isogen settings. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to come over here and you can see that it says that is continuing on 1481 sheet one. And if we ran this ISO here, it would say that it's continuing on 1480 sheet one. Uh, if we had anything that was coming off of sheet two, um, you know, it would say it was coming off of sheet two. Uh, now, sheet two from 1480, which is the one we ran, of course, it says it's connected to sheet two. So, I hope that helps you understand that there is a way that you can get the sheet numbers onto your uh, ISOs when you go from line number to line number. Um, this video came about because someone asked a question on on the channel about how to do, uh, get that to to populate 
So uh, please, if you have questions, uh, concerns, if, you, if, if I do something wrong, please call me out. I have no problem with criticism. Um, you know, we're growing the channel and, um, you know, I try to answer as many questions as possible. I don't get to them all. Uh, I'm a pretty busy guy and I, you know, don't upload a mu you know as many videos as I like to either. Uh, but you know please uh, remember to like share and subscribe tell your friends tell your colleagues uh, about our channel uh, if there's something you want to see please let us know we'll try to get it on there as soon as possible